Good morning, Vermont Lions. Welcome back. This is Miss Contreras providing you your Mindful Monday's weekly shout out topic for the week. Hoping everyone again had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I know I did. Once again, I did a lot of self care, spent time with the family, made some phone calls to catch up with some friends of mine to start planning to see them. Um, even through virtual status uh, to see how everyone has been doing in my own personal life. Um, it's always good to do a check-in with our loved ones, our friends, uh, to see that everyone's doing okay and also be a support to them as well if we're able to give that support and help. Boys and girls, for Mindful Monday's topic of the week, I thought that it would be great to give you some remote learning tips since we are still uh, going through virtual distance learning at school and even Ms. Contreras too is working from home during distance learning to communicate with you all. So a couple of things that you're gonna see on the post that I've attached is um, some things that I would like for each and one of you to try out to keep in mind to have an awareness uh, so that you can gain some good positive life skills um, as we continue during distance learning and for any other areas of our life right now that we're having to um, get through and, and do our best to, to hang in there. And as we are on our computers, at home, maybe we're in the backyard uh, in, or in the patio area doing remote work. Very important, boys and girls, let's not procrastinate. Let's try to do everything we can to plan ahead, to prepare for the unexpected uh, circumstances of life, especially like with the homework you have uh, from your teachers. Maybe you have things that are coming up within your family that you need to prepare and plan and have a plan A, plan B to follow through with responsibilities of your home or of school work. Also, I know that a lot of us are using social media right now um, and the devices uh, to talk to friends, family, uh, to do live live meetings, um, also emailing, maybe playing video games online. Very important, boys and girls, that during our school hours um, that we do our best to stay off of social media. That way you can focus on the live instruction, um, or any type of instruction that you are receiving from your teachers. Even Ms. Contreras um, has, is uh, not online. I don't stay online. I don't email friends or um, communicate with anyone during uh, on social media, especially during work hours, because I want to be able to focus on my work and my responsibilities and be that example, too, to my students that when I am working, I want to make sure that everything I collect and plan on, that it's going to be effective and be good resources for each and one of you. So I, too, Miss Contreras, stay offline <laughs> during work hours. Also, find a place at home uh, free of distraction. If possible, please um, ask your parent, your legal guardian, if there's an area that you can do your homework, study time. Uh, live instruction time um, within your home. Um, that way you have that one-on-one -on -one, uh, communication with your teachers uh, or even with Ms. Contreras where you're not interrupted and that you can focus on your studies. Another thing is uh, create a schedule. You know, you take start taking small steps. Uh, what, do, what are my goals for Monday? What are my goals for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? What time am I going to go to sleep at night so that I wake up the next morning restful, ready for school? Uh, what What is a good time in the day to do my studies? Uh, what is a good time in the day so that I can check in with my friends or family? So start 
planning unless you haven't done so a schedule that will work for you that you feel that you can uh, follow through with another thing too boys and girls very important that um, if we have permission from a trusted adult if we do any online chatting with friends um, classmates uh, that we try to stay on task and talk about things that are healthy, uh, build positive relationships, things that are good for you. Uh, especially talk about school, talk about maybe uh, an assignment that you would, you just received or a project that you're gonna be working on in your classroom with other students. So try to build on um, having discussions that are positive, that are helpful for you while you are in distance learning also, boys and girls, it's okay to let yourselves know that sometimes um, we need to stop for the day. Maybe uh, we're having one of those really hard, difficult days where maybe you've been online for a few hours trying to submit that assignment, trying to complete an assignment with another classmate. And it's just been a long day for you and you're telling yourself, well, you know what, I need to take a break. I, I, you know, I can't be looking at the screen anymore. My eyes hurt, I'm hungry. You know what, I just need to get away for a few minutes or maybe for a few hours, but knowing that you have a plan to get back to it once you feel better and that's okay too. Another thing is very important that we always celebrate all our accomplishments, all our goals that we have met. Go out for that ice cream cone. Go out for that extra walk with your friend, your loved one. Um, take that time for you to recognize, you know what? I did wonderful today. I did something great today. I actually, you know, was able to join a Google Classroom uh, with Ms. Contreras to being able to make that connection with another student online through Google Meets. As long as you got authorized and permission by a trusted adult to do that. Um, celebrating that you told yourself it's okay that maybe today wasn't that great but tomorrow I can do my best to make it better celebrate yourself boys and girls I know that I celebrate my own accomplishments um, like today I celebrated uh, being able to finalize a lot of Google Forms that I'm going to be using in a lot of the upper grade classrooms this year so that I can collect information to knowing how the kids are doing with topics that I'm going to present in their classrooms. And it took a lot of a lot of patience and understanding for myself and knowing that I make mistakes. So I may not be able to always click on the right button or download the right, you know, material so that I can make sure that what I'm gonna present makes sense to every one of you. Um, so I celebrate too for myself and the things I accomplish daily. Boys and girls, this was a little bit of a long video, but never rest assured that Ms. Contreras loves to do her self-recorded videos so that she can help you build great life skills that will benefit you not only now, but in the long run and into your future. So please have a great day. Have a great rest of the week. Stay tuned for tomorrow's Good Vibes Club. I will see what we have planned for and post that on our stream page on Ms. Contreras' Counselor Corner Google Classroom. You all take care of yourselves. Virtual hearts. Bye, lions.